What's up, YouTube? What's up, world? What up, Facebook? How y'all doing? It's your main man, King Bishop. Checking in here from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, this is the beginning of day three of my owner-operator journey. I'm not going to bang y'all up with all the days because I can't keep up with it. Um, so just to give a quick catch-up, uh, yesterday I delivered my first load as an owner-operator. Um, and it, it went through fine, man. I got down here. Um, I did have one little hiccup. I woke up yesterday morning about, I want to say about 4.35 in the morning. Uh, I was only four hours away from my delivery, and my appointment was at 11, so I woke up with plenty of time. Uh, I get up, do my pre-trip, and I did my pre-trip without starting my clock like I usually do, because that way if it's an issue, I can get it fixed, you know. And I had a flat tire on the trailer, so I stayed at the truck stop uh, right outside of Macon, Georgia, the Flying J, and um, had to get roll call out to come and fix the flat tire. So they got that done, I got rolling. I was about 20 minutes late to my delivery because of it. Not my fault. I can't deal with it. It wasn't blown out or anything like that. It's just the airline. You know, a lot of these new trailers have airlines that hook to the tires that keep them inflated. Well, the airline was loose, and uh, that airline becomes like the stem in the tire. So if that airline is loose, it's going to let air out. So I guess as I parked overnight, it let the air out. So. I would have got a video of it, but it was nighttime. It was dark. It was only, like I said, it was four in the morning, so wouldn't have been to see anything. But it came out, got me fixed. I got rolling, made my delivery, no issues. You know, it took them about an hour, hour and a half to unload me. Came down to uh, the Jacksonville terminal, about 30 minutes away, and um, got ready for my next load. While I was on my way back down, I got a load um, from. They wanted me to do this. They wanted me to pick up an empty container. Now, because I don't have my Twit card yet, they have to get someone to pull a container out of the port for me. So I have to pick it up at the, the, the terminal, which is costing me money. You know, it's costing me money because they have to pay a local guy. Instead of paying me the money they would give me for the full load, they got to split the load up. So uh, they wanted me to take that container, take it home for the weekend, uh, come out and be ready to pick up a load Tuesday morning in um, northern Pennsylvania. I cannot think of the city. It's not Mount Carmel. It's a... Uh, shoot. Um, doggone. I can't think of the name of the, uh, the city. But it's way, way northern PA, close to Ohio. Like, it's past Pittsburgh. I mean, it's deep PA. Um, I told him I didn't want to do that. Uh, I'm not... The reason, And the reason why I didn't want to do it, one... One thing, I didn't want to have to go through West Virginia and fight those mountains. Um, and two, I'm trying to conserve fuel now. You know, fuel is my responsibility, so i got to be careful about where I go and how I take to get there. Um, two, the reason why I didn't take the load was the load um, picked up on Tuesday, didn't deliver to Friday, and my pay schedule here is from Sunday to Saturday, which means that would essentially took up my whole week. And the load was only paying about $2,000. So for two thousand dollars in a whole week, I would have had maybe about, you know, seven eight hundred dollars worth of profit for the week, which is not enough for me. I became an owner operator, to make more money than I made local, and as a company driver. So that's not going to work for me. Not for my first week out. So I told them, no, nah, I didn't want to do that. And then they gave me another load. But they asked me if I want. They didn't give me this load. I came down to the terminal and talked to them face to face. They asked me about a load um, from Columbus, Ohio, picking up Monday. And. I will be taking, bring, getting that load and coming back down here to Jacksonville. Um, I don't know what that load paid. It was probably fairly similar to the the um, Northern PA load. Um, but the reason why I didn't take that Columbus, Ohio load was because I was scared I was going to run out of hours. You got to remember, I've been running now since Thursday night. Or since Thursday morning, early Thursday morning. Wednesday night, Thursday morning. So... I got to be careful about my hours because what the goal is is for me to, today Saturday, me to be home by next Friday or be on my way home next Friday. So I got to be careful about my hours where I can still make money but not burn up my hours so I can still get home. And the reason why I'm going home earlier than I expected was I was originally supposed to be going home on June 17th, but I went going home earlier because I have to get my Twit card. My Twit card is at the house, and every load I pull where I don't have my Twic and they're having to help me out, I'm losing money. I'm losing, you know, two or $300 a load. 
you know, so it's time to go home and get that, you know. Plus, I can get a 34-hour reset done at home. Um, so it's probably best I just go ahead and go home a week early, be ready to come right back out. You know, I'm only going to sit there for 34 hours or until that Monday and get me a load. I want to, or maybe Sunday night and get moving again. I'm not going to stay long because right now it's time to get the money while I don't have a, a truck payment. So um, I came down here. They offered me that load. Um, I told them no because I was scared. Then they gave me this load, the load I'm on right now. This load is going from here in Jacksonville, Florida, to Port Arthur, Texas, which is right outside of Houston. Um, it's uh, 808 miles up. Uh, my pickup is not until Monday at 10.30 in the morning. So I got plenty of time to get there and not even have to rush. Um, now, the only thing about it, I'm going up empty, so that's good. But the only thing about it, I do not like, and I did not know about the load before I took it is, it's a hazmat load. Not really a fan of hazmat loads, especially since this is DOT road check week coming up, and I'll be pulling that hazmat load in the middle of the DOT road check week. Um, I've never pulled hazmat before. I've kind of stayed away from hazmat, but I'm learning now that because I'm an owner operator and um, everything that I do puts money directly in my bank account, instead of you know me making the company rich, I kind of got to do some things I didn't want to do before. So, you know, I know I talk, all, make all these videos about informative stuff, but I'm still learning, I'm still learning, and uh, I'm still trying to wrap my head around things of how all this stuff works. So, um, it's a hazmat load. I'm hoping to be back down here in Jacksonville by, and maybe, maybe Tuesday night. If I run it correctly, I should be able to get back here Tuesday night. As long as I get there Monday with the 4 o'clock to get loaded at 1030, it don't take too long to load me. I can run the first leg of it, the first. It's uh, 880 miles back because of the hazmat. I can't. I have to go around. So run 440 miles or so up. Um, back down here the first day on that Monday and then finish it out on Tuesday. Um, that Tuesday morning and kind of get back here, you know, Tuesday night, hopefully. So um, that's the goal. We'll see if it works out the way I plan on it. I don't really have a time I have to have it back here. Um, I don't know when it delivers, but they just told me to bring it back here when I could. So that's the goal. I uh, got a new update for you guys as far as the video with, um, you know, some stuff is going on. But uh, right now, it's time for me to get rolling. My clock is moving. Um, I woke up this morning, I stayed last night with some family um, in Jacksonville, so I came back this morning to pick up my empty container to run up the road, I don't know if you can see it, you can't see it that way, let me see, I don't know if you can see it behind me or not, not really sure, but um, I came back and hooked up to it, did a pre-trip on it, pre-trip is important. Had a marker light out, brake light out, and I had a, one of the ABS lights were very, very loose and falling out. So I had to wait for a road call to come and fix me up before I could hit the road. I'm telling y'all, Pre-Trip has been saving me this whole week, man. So don't forget, y'all know I'm big on popping in a Pre-Trip. Make sure you pop in a Pre-Trip, man, to, to uh, make sure you pop in a Pre-Trip, man. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run, you know? Save you a lot of time in the long run. So, let me clear this up. Sorry, y'all. Doing a bunch of stuff at once. All right. So, I'm about to hit the road. You know, y'all be safe. Have a good day. God bless y'all as always. Please like, comment, share, man. Let me know you like what I'm doing so I can keep doing it. You know, invite your friends to the page, your cousin, your mama, your uncle. And they like trucking. I like them watching. You know what I mean? As always, man, God bless y'all. Peace.